What is good everybody? Welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today I am bringing you My Damn Hauls episode number 7. Today we have a huge box from Showstopper Custom Figs. It contains I think 12 customs and a few accessories, stuff like that for my pick fed. And I'm just absolutely excited for it to be here. Can't wait to show you guys what's inside. This is quite possibly the best haul that anyone has ever had. So with that being said, let's go ahead and get into this box. It is the only box on this episode of My Damn Hauls, but it will definitely be worth it. It's probably going to be a lengthy episode, so bear with me, but it will totally be worth it. So let's go ahead and get into the box. Alright guys, just so this video wouldn't take too long, I went ahead and cut all the tape, all the bubble wrap, all that good stuff. I have not looked inside. I haven't you know, looked at any figures, any of that stuff, so I don't know. I want to be just as shocked as you guys when opening this up, but I just wanted to show you guys how well Joey packs his stuff up when he sends it to you so if you guys buy anything from Showstopper Custom Figs you will know what to expect he sends it with plenty of bubble wrap right here and they are all in here it looked a lot better than this but you know it was so complex and stuff I didn't want the video to be too too long so I went ahead and cut all of that off um, see there's also a seal right here that I'm gonna have to go ahead and cut but um, I'm very glad that he did pack it up this way because he knows as well as I do that you don't want to ship off your figures to anybody and get them damaged in the process, so I'm going to go ahead and get this cut and then we'll get into it. Alright guys, so I think I finally got all the tape squared away. I finally cut it all away and gotten the figures ready to open. I have not looked inside yet because I want to be just as shocked as you guys when we open it up. So without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and sit right here and let's go ahead and get into it. And sweet baby Jesus, we haven't even got into it, and I'm already excited. I don't know what to even start with. Let's go ahead and start with the right side right here. As you can tell already, it is a custom elite Dolph Ziggler. It is his black and white attire with the white DZs all over it. I'm a huge Ziggler mark, so I had to go ahead and get four of these made to go in my already big Dolph Ziggler collection. But starting off right here, as you can see, you have the black attire with all the white DZs all over it. Back logo right there. I decided to put knee pads on mine because I don't like how it looks without them. I think it looks really weird, especially when people try to put the decals over the kneecap instead of the knee pad. And if you look closely, when Dolph Ziggler is in the ring, you can see that he does wear knee pads underneath his tights. So, And of course, Joey went ahead and sculpted the boot flaps on there and painted those to the accuracy that they are. So that is absolutely beautiful, and we're only one doff in. Next doff we're going to get into is the No Mercy attire, the pink, the career versus title match when he fought with Miz. I absolutely love this attire. One of his defining moments in his career, actually, I think, was this match. And um, I just always love this attire a lot, the pink. I wish he would come back to bright colors like this instead of always the black and white. But anyways... There's that. Absolutely beautiful. I love this attire a lot. If you guys want work like this done, please go follow Showstopper Custom Figs on Instagram. I will leave a link in the description below so you can follow him. Next up, we have the SummerSlam 2016 Dolph Ziggler, where he fought Dean Ambrose in that disappointing WWE Championship match. I feel like that was Dean's fault because Dolph Ziggler is one of the best workers in the company, and I just don't think that that match was his fault. But anyways, here's a side view of the figure. Again, boot flap sculpted right here. Just absolutely impressive work by Joey. Everything is always so flawless. I absolutely love everything that I get from him. This is my third batch, I believe, that we have done. And this next Dolph Ziggler Elite custom actually has a custom head on it that I don't think I've seen anyone else do. So I think that's pretty unique about this one. As you can see, the hair is sculpted into the ponytail with it down at the same time custom painted as well I absolutely think that looks incredible Mattel needs to get on their shit because Joey is making them look terrible right now with all these customs uh, again just this common black and white attire from 2016 again boot flaps sculpted knee pads all that good stuff absolutely love that head scan probably need to get more of those made but that is it for the Dolph Ziggler customs I'm going to go ahead and show you guys a few accessories that I had made first and then we will get into the main portion of this video. Alright, so getting into the rest of the haul here. Right here we have a Battler Club jacket from Ralph's Figure Clothing. I'm going to go ahead and rip this open and show you guys. I absolutely hate the rubber 
um, coat that came with the ringside exclusive Finn Balor, so I absolutely had to get a couple of these. Um, I will have a review of that going up in a couple days, actually, and I will actually be putting this on mine instead of the rubber one, but I think that looks really, really good. I think it'll look even better when it's on. So there's that. I had two of them made just because I have a lot of Finn Balors, so had to go ahead and get a few made. Uh, moving on. We have my baggie of championship belts slash money in the bank because I'm starting up my pick fed soon and I wanted official My Damn Toys championship belts. So let's go ahead and get into these. Taking all of them out of their bags here. Very beautifully wrapped as Joey always does. Let's go ahead and start with the money in the bank briefcase here. Absolutely looks phenomenal. I love the way that looks. Have money in the bank in my font right here, which is actually the Dolph Ziggler font. And then on the other side we have MDT, and I wanted him to do pink briefcase. He did the neon pink with black zebra print, and I think it looks absolutely ridiculously good in my opinion. I think this is awesome. Can't wait to see who actually wins this. I plan on doing two separate brands. I have the pink brand, which is uh, MDT Live, and I will have a blue brand, which will be Vindication. And um, that's what I plan to do with that, but I'm going to go ahead and show you the title belts that would be defended on um, MDT Live. Starting off first we have the MDT Extreme Championship. If I can get it out of the baggie here. We have the MDT Extreme Championship. I think this looks really really cool. It's the United States Championship base and it has Extreme right here across the front with the X's. I feel like I'm gonna make this more like the Hardcore Championship. I think that'll be a cool idea. So that's the first title belt. The other mid-card title on MDT Live will be the United States Championship. And this design's pretty cool. I made this on 2K. And I think it just looked really, really awesome. It's pretty basic, but I think it looks really cool. And it's the United States Championship. I like it a lot. You have the stars on the left side here. And then the stripes on this side. It is the Zack Ryder Internet Championship as the base. And I think that looks really awesome. Joey did a great job. MDT right here across the top. That's the second mid-card title. Next up we have the tag titles and I think these, I don't know, I love the way these came out. They're really, really clean. I have to get both out of the baggie so bear with me here. But they look really, really clean. It even has like custom side plates on it with decals. So let's go ahead and get into this. Both belts have pink straps and then the MDT world logos embossed on the middle. And then, I don't know if you guys can tell, but it has the MDT Live logos on the side plates here. And then, like, a black and pink world logo on there. I think these look absolutely... They're so clean, in my opinion. I think these look absolutely awesome. Can't wait to see who wins all these different titles. And finally, we have the main championship for MDT Live, which is the MDT World Championship. It will be defended on MDT Live. Completely custom made. Here it is, we have the zebra print strap, uh, strap with the blue right here, the MDT blue. MDT sculpted and painted in the middle right there where the spinner usually is. And then that same world logo here and the MDT live logo right there. I think this is absolutely amazing. Thank you so much Showstopper Custom Figs. I cannot wait to see who is going to take home all of these titles on MDT live. So getting out of the accessories that is all the accessories in the thing so let's move on to the main portion of this video let's get into it all right guys so it's finally time to get into what you guys have all been waiting for and that is the custom elite prince devitts aka finn balors let's go ahead and get started right here with the freddy krueger elite prince devitt custom this thing is absolutely incredible down to the last detail it comes with a lot of accessories and extras first off Here's a close-up shot, even has Freddy's glove, that is a custom arm, I will show you what it looks like without the sweater in another video, I'm going to review each individual Balor, this is just a quick overlook here, it even has the decal on the knee pad right here, but there is the Freddy Krueger custom Prince Devitt, this thing is absolutely amazing, he even painted the sweater to get the details in there. That looks really, really awesome. It even came, he even gave me an extra arm for when I want to swap the arm so the glove doesn't have to be on all the time. That'll be really awesome to look. And I will show you guys a closer look at that in the full review I'll show with, without all that good stuff. 
Uh, next, we're going to get into the Wrestle Kingdom Custom Prince Devitt, which is the Carnage and Purple attire that he wore. Jesus Christ, just the detail in these things is amazing. Showstopper Custom Figs always coming through in the clutch. Here it is. Just flawless paint detail all the way around. I'm sorry if I don't get very good details or very good uh, a good look at all of them individually. I will be doing a video on each one. So each one will get its own time to shine. This is just a quick look at them for now. But just Jesus. This man is absolutely impressive. The paint application is absolutely flawless. It's absolutely clean. Next we have the... There's eight total Elite Custom Balor slash Devits in this box, so we have quite a few. The third one we're looking at is the Custom Elite Venom Prince Devit. Here's the paint detail here. You see that paint, paint detail on his chest and in his face looks just like when he wore this. Even has the Armani Exchange decal on the trunks there. The gray triangle there to simulate that Armani Exchange tights. Even has the paint detail in his kick pads on the knee pads there. Absolutely impressive. Getting into the next one, we have the Custom Prince Devitt Spawn. Just goodness gracious. Each one I open just gets more and more impressive. Um, a look here. Again, the paintwork is so clean, so detailed. These are fully playable, by the way. I obviously won't be doing much with them besides displaying them, but I will probably be using them for my pick fed if I want Finn Balor to be wearing a different attire on different nights and that such. But yeah, just again, beautiful detail, amazing all the way around. Every single one of these is unique to its own. Uh, next, I'm going to save that one for last. Next we have the Joker Custom. Devitt. Again, there it is in the face detail. He even sculpted the slash marks like how Heath Ledger wore it in the Batman movie, The Dark Knight. That just looks incredible. The paint detail and the hair. And you even have the quote on his back that he completely nailed. The font is absolutely ridiculous. Again, Armani Exchange tights. Uh, kick pad details again, our money exchange, knee pad decal, all that good stuff. Just Jesus Christ, when these are on the shelf together, I will be posting a picture of my entire Finn Balor collection once these are all on the shelf together. Next we have the Punisher Custom Elite. I am just so happy right now. I'm so bl These just look absolutely amazing. I love the Punisher. It's my favorite Marvel character, so I really, really like this attire a lot. Again, paint detail all the way across. The head looks amazing. On the back there, everything. Like, good God, man. These are just so impressive. I'm so excited to have all of these. I don't know if you can tell, but there is that uh, the wrap that he wore underneath his knee pads. The paint detail is there. I don't know if you can pick that up on the camera. But there's the Punisher Elite Custom. Up next, we have one of the one of my favorite attires as well it is the Anti Venom attire that he wore. I like this one a lot because it is so clean. I just absolutely love the way the white looks. And again, he absolutely murdered the paint apps again. That spider on the chest there, as well as the head detail going around. You have the blue on the knee pads and on the trunks right here. That white is very, very clean. Absolutely love this, the paint detail all the way around. Really love that one. And getting into the final fin, I believe it is the best one in here, which is the NXT TakeOver, the End Elite. I know we are getting a basic of this in that new Target NXT exclusive line. But I think this one is the best one that Joey made. And it is the NXT TakeOver, the end Finn Balor. This was his last match in NXT before moving up to the main roster when he fought some fought some mojo in the steel cage match. But, excuse me, that is absolutely incredible. You have the teeth perfectly painted. 
head perfectly painted. I don't know how this man got all of these details. Knee pads there, kick pad details well. This arm is absolutely incredible. Those teeth, the gray and white moving up right there. On the back even with the gray on the trunks. All the way around just the head detail right here. Just goodness gracious alive. These are absolutely beautiful. He even included his headdress and arm things. If I want to put him in his entrance gear, we have that as well. So this haul is absolutely incredible. I'm going to go ahead and get him organized and such. And we'll go back to our old camera view because that way we can get them all in the shot and stuff like that. But, oh man, these are just incredible. I absolutely love these. If you guys enjoy all these epic customs that we've gotten today, please give me a, a subscribe and a like down below. Comment what your favorite custom is and I will get to all of them lined up and we will move on with the video. So here are all the ballers together, man. These things look absolutely ridiculous. I love each individual one to their own. All the paint apps, all the paint detail, all of it is just incredible. It has the right body mold. It's just, just very good formula for Finn Balor. Looks absolutely beautiful. Uh, please stay tuned for those reviews of each individual one. I will go through each individual one and let you see close-up detail of all of those. So stay tuned for that. I am just so happy to have all of these Balors and all these Dolphs and all these MDT belts in my collection now. Very excited. Um, I think that's going to do it for this video, guys. Please leave a like. Leave a comment down below what your favorite custom is from this batch. Please subscribe for more epic WWE figure-related videos. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you so much.